Hello there. Welcome to Real Cajun Cooking, Pure and Simple, where we welcome every day as a cause for celebration and every meal a blessing and hope you feel the same. Hi, my name is Jacques Gaspard, and I want to show you my way of cooking a very popular Cajun dish called blackened catfish. Maybe you heard of it. Filet of catfish is just one of several meats which can be blackened, and they are usually the lighter textured kinds of meat like fish and other seafood, including chicken breasts, believe it or not. But contrary to popular beliefs, blackened fish, or any other blackened type of Cajun food for that matter, does not mean burnt. I wouldn't eat the flesh of burnt fish, as I'm sure you wouldn't either. It is the butter and the various seasonings which are painted onto the fillets, which give them that blackened quality and exotic taste that, everybody, that everyone loves so much. Here's a snapshot of a couple fillets and large shrimp, which I blackened in a number 10 cast iron skillet. You know, there's something special, special about blackening catfish fillets in a well-seasoned cast iron skillet. Because I've tried blackening foods and other types of cookware, and I'll tell you what, it's just not the same thing. But anyway, for the full written version and more details about this cast iron blackening technique, please visit our site at realcajuncooking.blogspot.com. And if you care to, take time to leave a message or a comment. We'll see you in a few. Hey, it's me again. I, I figured I better tell you this. What you didn't see is uh, I put two tablespoons of uh, peanut oil in the cast iron skillet and I got it very hot. And the way you can tell when to add your fillets of catfish is when it starts to smoke because uh, peanut oil has a higher flash point than your other oils. So when it starts to smoke, you know you've got a hot fire underneath. Plus, the peanut oil makes a better barrier between the metal and the fish. But I'm not going to bore you with the entire cooking process here. Uh, through the magic of editing, I'm going to cut this off here in a short short. And we'll skip through and go to the very end uh, where I'll show you the finished product. Just remember, it's about four minutes on high on each side. See you in a few. Okay, so I turned the fillets uh, another time and cooked it for four more minutes. Now I'm going to, uh, I found some leftover lettuce in my fridge, so I'm going to lay these uh, fillets on top of that lettuce. Then in just a few minutes, I'm going to, not even a few minutes, I'm going to cook some shrimp and blacken them too, and we'll try to make a dish out of this. There are the shrimp as we speak. Anyway, I'm going to... Uh, I'll cook these up in about four or five minutes so they're kind of translucent on both sides. Keep them really tender. Add them to the plate along with some tomatoes and some... Hey, there's the finished product. Voila. Oh, I love the magic of editing, huh? You can just skip through all that stuff. Anyway, there you go. Uh, it's so easy to prepare and it's so much better, in my opinion, to prepare that in a cast iron skillet.